hello, hello, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You can see that I'm outside of the house, which can only mean one thing, right? What do you think that means? We are up to something. We're up to something. We are about to embark on an adventure to a cactus slash succulent show. That is very hard to say, actually, without spitting everywhere. So I feel highly accomplished right now. In any case, it's going to be amazing. This is held two times a year. I did a video on it once before. I will link to it somewhere in the upper corners. It was amazing. And I have a sinking suspicion that this season is also going to be amazing. Are you excited, Ryan? Yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Bye, see you in a second. Alrighty, so just like last time, this event is held by the Cactus and Succulent Society of San Jose. It was founded in the 1960s for the sole purpose of educating newbies as well as experienced pros on how to propagate, maintain, and allow their little succulent and cacti fellows to flourish. By the way, that's the one cacti that's not prickly and ooh, that one's made of yarn, so <laughs> we're off to a gentle and wonderful start. What we're looking at now is the show portion of their event. They have two sides, a side where the members can bring out their A-game and show off their unique little displays, which is really fun because a lot of times people get really playful with it and they'll match their little succulent or cacti with a really fun or unique pot, which I think is so underrated, you know? I feel like plant pottery should also be given its time in the limelight because a lot of people put a lot of effort into the pottery. But anyways, <laughs> they have a show portion and then on the other side they have um, a side that's all for sale where local nurseries or local vendors uh, show off what they've got growing on. Every year this event happens in the spring and in the fall. The spring usually is a lot more crowded and has a little bit more variety, which makes sense because of course the plants typically grow a little bit happier in the spring. For the show portion, you are able to vote for your favorite plants. That's kind of why you see on the table these green rectangular slabs of papyrus because you stick down with a little red dot which plant or sorry, which cactus or succulent you vote for. Fun side note, I have this plant of my own and I tried to make a little bonsai version of it. It's a very cute attempt. <laughs> I don't know, all those spiky little succulents kind of remind me of like the plant version of crazy eyes. I always kind of keep my distance. I thought this was a funny little picture though because it kind of looks like a human or like some sort of like a little freaky deaky little face. <laughs> and here we have some neon green play-doh looking plant which is very thrilling especially if you like play-doh it kind of makes me wonder if they have a socrates or an aristotle looking plant complete that building block buddy <laughs> anyways back to the plants I'm not exactly sure what they do for the winners of this event, simply because I have never submitted a piece before, let alone won <laughs> a title before. But I think even if it's just the sheer bragging rights, that one season, hold up, never mind. This guy looks like he's got streamy little fingernails poking out all over himself. Ooh. Anyways, but as I was saying, even if it's just the bragging rights, you know, I think that should suffice. And up here, it looks like we got a handful of booties. Those lithops always kind of remind me of like little tushies with flowers coming out. I, mean, I, I don't know, I guess to each their own. <laughs> it's so fun to see all the different items that show up for this event, but it is also kind of interesting because after you've been around the block a couple times you realize that there are some repeat offenders who keep bringing the same plant every single show and they keep on winning well actually i don't know if they keep winning but they keep getting a ton of the little red dots which in essence is a total win but it's also kind of freaky because some of the plants never seem to grow they never seem to change but they're there every single year. It's 
a little bit mystifying, if you ask me, you know? Kind of makes me want to, like, pick it up and poke it a little bit just to kind of double check to make sure it's real or rooney and not, like, plastic, you know? I'm not trying to stare at a Barbie all day long. I want the green fleshy stuff. But not like an alien because they can stay. I'm not trying to single-handedly bring down the human race because of a succulent and cactus show. But I do also think that corkscrew little plant needs to go on top of like a troll head. I'm pretty sure that would be like the world's best solution over there. I don't know, seems like a stroke of, oh my god, I take it back, this one, oof, that was way too fingernail-like for me, oh Jesus. I am so sorry for those of you who are wearing headphones during that traumatizing event. <sighs> Let's all just take a deep breath and forget about that freaky little cat. love to see what a tree like that would look like on a larger scale to the point where you could like kind of like crawl between those little crevices because it is just such a unique trunky structure oh come on now it was like little spider crab legs creeping crawling up on out of that pot Ooh, it's kind of like a stingray don't you think safely able to say I've never seen a plant like that before that's the one fun thing about the show portion is that you do get to see sure maybe some common ones but hey ooh, a blue cactus like that's exactly what I mean you get to find all these other fun little gizmos that you would have previously probably not seen had you not gone to the show it's very enticing that guy needs some lotion. Do you see all that peeling? <laughs> it's winter. You can tell winter is coming. That's why you gotta use that apricot seed oil, you know? Just really let it soak into the skin. In the upper right hand corner, we have the rare foot cactus. If you think grabbing one of those pokey cacti is painful, wait until you try and grab that rare foot cactus, because I promise you, it's gonna come a-kicking at you. I thought this pale pistachio green succulent was pretty fun, kind of like little puffed up worms sticking up towards the sky. When I was looking at this one, I kind of thought it should be on display at one of those like body exhibits, you know how they have like the plasticized body parts? Kind of reminded me of something that you would find in one of those display cases. I loved seeing all the different type of chrysolas that they had on display here, particularly that sunsetty colored one. It kind of looks like it's a jade plant, but I've just never seen one like that before. So if you know if that's a jade plant or not, please let me know. I just can't get over how fun most, if not all, of these little succulents and cacti are. It kind of makes me wish some of these were for sale, but at the same point, I guess it's fun just to kind of admire from afar. Looks like over here we have some more lithops, which are always extremely fun, and these kind of look like freaky deaky little baby toes. If baby toes were multicolored and succulents. <laughs> Looks like we might have a winner. Ryan is placing his sticker down with a bit of a struggle, but you know what they say, if it doesn't come off your finger, perhaps it's meant to linger. <laughs> Good job, Ryan, he got it. Oh my goodness gracious, is it just me or does this one look like a Frankenstein type of plant that's like sewn together at the seams? Maybe I need to go back to the optometrist, I don't know, but that one kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. However, that tall, bark, and leafy fella behind is catching my eye with those dainty little leaves and that funky, funky looking trunk. 
you probably know by now that I am not the biggest fan of prickly cacti. However, that round green one has an interesting little spherical shaped gizmo coming out the center. It's pretty captivating. Captivating. Get it? Because first of all, it's the correct way to say it, but second of all, cap. Cap goes on top like a hat. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh my goodness gracious, that plant literally looks like swollen grapes with the googly eyes of a snail? Where do these things come from? I think next year for their fall show, they should have just a haunted house full of all these freaky, deaky looking plants. Just because, I mean, why should we always go with the typical clown scares, huh? Why not some of these plants? throw people for a loop or two. Ooh, that's sweet. Somebody brought a bowl of cotton balls to the show. Seriously, though, I would go to a plant haunted house. I mean, who the heck would it? Oh my god. Greenhouse. Haunted greenhouse. This is a genius, guys. Stroke of genius you are listening to. Or maybe just a stroke. Send help. What in the heck is this funky little fella? It doesn't even look like a plant. It's a straight up art piece, darling. Truly impressive. That jiggy, jaggy, slender plant is pretty darn funky. I have not seen one like that before. Ooh, a disc. Ooh, how exciting! More cotton balls! Ooh! The moon. Well, it was quicker to get there than I thought. Da -da -da. <laughs> On a totally random but slightly still relevant note, have any of you tried to pull apart cotton before? I swear, like, the thought of it even just kind of makes my teeth kind of, like, wiggle around a little bit. Eh, anyways. Here is an overview of the shopping side of this event. It is always so fun. You never really know what you're gonna find in the shopping section of this event just because it's such a gamble, but I do kind of find more rare, hard to find, or impossible to find cacti and succulents. The price range is pretty comparable to the standard nursery, perhaps slightly elevated, but then again, it's just so hard to say because so many of these items you literally won't find anywhere else. So it's kind of like, eh, how do you compare something like that? Well, you really just can't. So what I usually do is I skip the plants that I see regularly at nurseries and I go for the ones that I don't see very often. Seems pretty fail-proof. And for the sake of time and your sanity, I have decided this year to divide the video up into two parts. That way you can have two videos that are like around 15 minutes instead of one mega video that's going to take you like an entire day to get through. <laughs> but also this year I really wanted to show more of the show portion of this event. Um, and so in the next video, I'll show you all the goodies that we picked up in the shopping side. So if you're interested in seeing what I added to my planty collection, then please stay tuned because it will be following this video in a couple days. So hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon and you will not miss out. Unless of course you ignore the notifications, in which case you will miss out even though you subscribed and hit the bell icon, but just don't do that. Just avoid that issue and tune in. Alrighty guys, 
we are departing from the show, heading on home now. I have to film at this angle so that you don't see the back seat where all the plants are. If you want to see what we picked up in the show, make sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon because guess what? It's coming in a part two so that this video isn't like 30 plus minutes long. Yay!